John Pollock here alongside John Ramdeen and Robin Black, and we are going to be discussing a lawsuit that has been filed on behalf of Mark Hunt against the UFC, Dana White, and Zufa. And among the charges in this lawsuit are that of collusion and fraud stemming from the Brock Lesnar fight back at UFC 200. This was when Brock Lesnar returned to the company. They waived the four-month testing period. And then after the loss by Mark Hunt to Brock Lesnar, we find out that Brock Lesnar failed a test prior to UFC 200 on June the 28th and then on fight night. All of this for clomiphene, which is not a steroid, which we should state, but still, nonetheless, a, a banned substance. And now Mark Hunt believes that he should be given monetary damages for all of this. Robin. Yeah, ah, fascinating. Uh, yeah, it's a weird one when you think about it because I, he's not suing USADA, and they're the ones that run that testing thing. I think he's also suing Brock Lesnar, uh, which yeah, is Brock is among the defendants. Yeah, uh, the challenge, if we, you know, is it fair? Can he win? How does it go? Our lawyering skills are pretty minor at this desk. But the first thing I look at is, you know, it's really hard to sue three billionaires. You know, like that's a tough gig going in with people that the, part of suing somebody, part of the lawsuit system is you sit there and you delay and delay and delay and it costs and it costs and it costs. And if he's in this thing, he's better be in it for a long time. On the surface level, I mean, just looking at this, do you feel Mark Hunt was was wronged in all of this? Because I look at a guy yes. that they state, hey, we have this policy in place where you need a four month testing period to avoid exactly what happened with Brock Lesnar. And then the test was taken beforehand and didn't come back in time by UFC 200. If I'm a judge, I'm at least hearing this case. Of course. I think yeah. Mark Hunt has a valid argument. It's a completely different question if he's going to actually win this yeah, right. and see yeah. money at the end of yeah. this. But I think this guy, absolutely, he was, he was aggrieved the, in this. The only issue I have is how, how much of a say does Mark Hunt have when it comes to choosing his opponents? Because he's... He signed on the dotted line to fight to fight Brock Lesnar. I think there's no one in the world that believes that at some point Brock Lesnar didn't do things that he shouldn't be doing. And then he's also contemplating signing on the dotted line to fight Alistair Overeem. We all know about Alistair Overeem's history in the horse meet. So, I mean, Mark Hunt does have to take some responsibility. Yeah. And in a situation like this... Shouldn't you, this, in a, in a USADA-tested yeah, right. promotion, that the fighter that signs, that you should be yeah. of the belief, that whether that's naive or not, that you're... He's in the game. He understands clean. the way the game is actually yeah. played. Yeah. Uh, but if this had been followed by their policy, sure. this whole four-month thing... Yeah. That would have been avoided. First of all, when you say horse meat, you're supposed to use these horse meat. Uh, but uh, I mean, first of all, who waves that? Is that, can, it, it, let's say you're the other, you're the three defendants. You're giant Brock Lesnar and you're Dana White. And, and giant you're, Lorenzo, is he a part of that? Yeah, no, I don't think so anymore. And, uh, and you're sitting there, you'd be like, I don't know, man, you saw it, did it. You know, like that would be my defense. I would assume is, hey man, we don't make these decisions. That's what USADA's for. You should be suing USADA. And so it's a weird one. I feel for Mark Hunt more than anything because you lose a fight, you get beaten up really bad by a huge dude who just rides you the whole fight and beats you up. And then now you can you feel the emotional nature of it. Some people will just be like, I got to move on with my life. And instead he's going to be drawn into this three, four year long drama of conflict and win or lose he's going to go through that and and he's chosen to go through that and i feel for him this also isn't the first time where we've had a, a drug test administered and then the results come back after the fight and to me this is just something that needs to be corrected and i understand that you know you take these t you test john Ramdeen, for instance it's not listed as john Ram weed. john Ramdeen fighting on this date it's you're a number and it's not it doesn't necessarily correspond to when someone's fighting but to me it's if you're administering a test on this date it has to come back before yeah, the result, fight yeah. because then you're potentially putting another human in danger it, it dependent the, the whole process of this is that we're not putting fighters into a cage where they have this advantage over others there's no history so i'm sure the stuff like that just like how we're seeing commissions starting to get better at everything in, when it comes to mixed martial arts, you would imagine that to, uh, eventually they'll yeah. perfect this. Speaking of which, you saw Nevada's considering not having exactly. marijuana be... Uh, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, you'd be, you can fight now. <laughs> oh.
So we will watch now this case with interest. Do you think that this is at all going to be a bit of a, bit of a cloud now over Mark Hunt as he gets he doesn't pre care. preparing yeah. for this fight? I don't think fight. he cares at all. I'm sure he, he probably discussed this with some lawyer who said, you know, eventually we'll do this and the new, uh, the new owners of the UFC will probably settle. You know, you know what's really weird? You see if you have friends that have large companies and people that you've met, these guys sue each other all the time. All the Lawsuits time. are super normal in large-scale big business, which is weird. It shouldn't be normal, but I think over time it's kind of, you're like, oh, well, Mark's suing us. Okay, what else is going on? You know, it's weird, man. Business is freaky. There you go. Mark Hunt versus the UFC, where he is seeking millions.